A loanword, also loanword, or loanword is a word adopted from one language, the donor language and incorporated into another language without translation. This is in contrast to cognates, which are words in two or more languages that are similar because they share an etymological origin, and calques, which involve translation. Examples and related terms A loanword is distinguished from a calc loan translation, which is a word or phrase whose meaning or idiom is adopted from another language by translation into existing words or word-forming roots of the recipient language. Examples of loanwords in the English language include café from French café, which literally means «coffee», bazaar from Persian bazaar, which means «market», and kindergarten from German kindergarten, which literally means «children's garden». In a bit of heterological irony, the word calque is a loanword from the French noun, derived from the verb calquer to trace, to copy. The word loanword is a calque of the German word lenwort, and the phrase, loan translation, is a calque of the German lenübersetzung. Loans of multi word phrases, such as the English use of the French term déjà vu, are known as adoptions, adaptations, or lexical borrowings. Strictly speaking, the term loanword conflicts with the ordinary meaning of loan in that something is taken from the donor language without it being something that is possible to return. <laughs> from the arts Most of the technical vocabulary of classical music such as concerto, allegro, tempo, aria, opera, and soprano is borrowed from Italian, and that of ballet from French. Linguistic classification The studies by Werner Betz 1949, 1939, Einar Haugen 1950, also 1956, and Uriel Weinreich 1953 are regarded as the classical theoretical works on loan influence. The basic theoretical statements all take Betz's nomenclature as their starting point. Duckworth 1977 enlarges Betz's scheme by the type partial substitution and supplements the system with English terms. A schematic illustration of these classifications is given below. The expression, foreign word, used in the illustration below is, however, an incorrect translation of the German term Fremdwort, which refers to loanwords whose pronunciation, spelling, and possible inflection or gender have not yet been so much adapted to the new language that they cease to feel foreign. Such a separation of loanwords into two distinct categories is not used by linguists in English in talking about any language. In addition, basing such a separation mainly on spelling as described in the illustration is or, in fact, was not usually done except by German linguists and only when talking about German and sometimes other languages that tend to adapt foreign spellings, which is rare in English unless the word has been in wide use for a very long time. According to the linguist Suzanne Kemmer, the expression, "'foreign word' can be defined as follows in English. W hen most speakers do not know the word and if they hear it think it is from another language, the word can be called a foreign word. There are many foreign words and phrases used in English such as bon vivant French, mutatis mutandis Latin, and schadenfreude German. This is however not how the term is incorrectly used in this illustration. On the basis of an importation substitution distinction, Haugen (1950–214f) distinguishes three basic groups of borrowings. One, loanwords show morphemic importation without substitution. Two, loanblends show morphemic substitution as well as importation. Three, loanshifts show morphemic substitution without importation. Haugen later refined 1956 his model in a review of Neuss's book on Old English loan coinages, whose classification, in turn, is the one by Betz 1949 again. Weinreich 1953 -ff differentiates between two mechanisms of lexical interference, namely those initiated by simple words and those initiated by compound words and phrases. Weinreich 1953 defines simple words from the point of view of the bilinguals who perform the transfer, rather than that of the descriptive linguist. Accordingly, the category simple words also includes compounds that are transferred in unanalyzed form. After this general classification, Weinreich then resorts to Betz's 1949 terminology. <laughs> Popular and learned loanwords 
There is a distinction between popular and learned loanwords. Popular loanwords are transmitted orally. Learned loanwords are first used in written language, often for scholarly, scientific, or literary purposes. In English The English language has often borrowed words from other cultures or languages. Some English loanwords remain relatively faithful to the donor language's phonology even though a particular phoneme might not exist or have contrastive status in English. For example, the Hawaiian word aa is used by geologists to specify lava that is relatively thick, chunky, and rough. The Hawaiian spelling indicates the two glottal stops in the word, but the English pronunciation, contains at most one. In addition, the English spelling usually removes the Okina and Macron diacritics. The majority of English affixes, such as un, ing, and li, were present in older forms in Old English. However, a few English affixes are borrowed. For example, the English verbal suffix is American English or is British English comes from Greek isin isin via Latin is air. Topic: In languages other than English. Topic. Transmission in the Ottoman Empire During more than 600 years of the Ottoman Empire, the literary and administrative language of the empire was Turkish, with many Persian, and Arabic loanwords, called Ottoman Turkish, considerably differing from the everyday spoken Turkish of the time. Many such words were exported to other languages of the empire, such as Albanian, Bosnian, Bulgarian, Croatian, Greek, Hungarian, Ladino, Macedonian, Montenegrin and Serbian. After the empire fell after World War I and the Republic of Turkey was founded, the Turkish language underwent an extensive language reform led by the newly founded Turkish Language Association, during which many adopted words were replaced with new formations derived from Turkic roots. That was part of the ongoing cultural reform of the time, in turn a part in the broader framework of Ataturk's reforms, which also included the introduction of the new Turkish alphabet. Turkish also has taken many words from French, such as pantalon for trousers from French pantalon and comic for funny from French comique, most of them pronounced very similarly. Word usage in modern Turkey has acquired a political tinge. Right wing publications tend to use more Arabic or Persian originated words, left wing ones use more adopted from European languages, while centrist ones use more native Turkish root words. <laughs> <laughs> Dutch words in Indonesian Almost 350 years of Dutch presence in what is now Indonesia have left significant linguistic traces. Though very few Indonesians have a fluent knowledge of Dutch, the Indonesian language inherited many words from Dutch, both in words for everyday life and as well in scientific or technological terminology. One scholar argues that 20% of Indonesian words can be traced back to Dutch words. <laughs> Loan words in Japanese <laughs> Romance languages A large percentage of the lexicon of Romance languages, themselves descended from Vulgar Latin, consists of loanwords later learned or scholarly borrowings from Latin. These words can be distinguished by lack of typical sound changes and other transformations found in descended words, or by meanings taken directly from classical or ecclesiastical Latin that did not evolve or change over time as expected. In addition, there are also semi learned terms which were adapted partially to the Romance language's character. Latin borrowings can be known by several names in Romance languages, in Spanish, for example, they are usually referred to as «cultismos» and in Italian as «latinize me». Latin is usually the most common source of loanwords in these languages, such as in Italian, Spanish, French, etc., and in some cases the total number of loans may even outnumber inherited terms although the learned borrowings are less often used in common speech, with the most common vocabulary being of inherited, orally transmitted origin from Vulgar Latin. This has led to many cases of etymological doublets in these languages. For most Romance languages, these loans were initiated by scholars, clergy, or other learned people and occurred in medieval times, peaking in the late Middle Ages and early Renaissance era in Italian. The 14th century had the highest number of loans. In the case of Romanian, the language underwent a re Latinization 
Process later than the others see Romanian Lexis, Romanian language section French, Italian, and English loanwords, in the 18th and 19th centuries, partially using French and Italian words many of these themselves being earlier borrowings from Latin as intermediaries, in an effort to modernize the language, often adding concepts that did not exist until then, or replacing words of other origins. These common borrowings and features also essentially serve to raise mutual intelligibility of the Romance languages, particularly in academic, scholarly, literary, technical, and scientific domains. Many of these same words are also found in English through its numerous borrowings from Latin and French and other European languages. In addition to Latin loanwords, many words of ancient Greek origin were also borrowed into Romance languages, often in part through scholarly Latin intermediates, and these also often pertain to academic, scientific, literary, and technical topics. Furthermore, to a lesser extent, Romance languages borrowed from a variety of other languages, in particular English has become an important source in more recent times. Study of the origin of these words and their function and context within the language can illuminate some important aspects and characteristics of the language, and can reveal insights on the general phenomenon of lexical borrowing in linguistics as a method of enriching a language. <laughs> Cultural aspects According to Hans Henrik Hoch and Brian Joseph, "...languages and dialects do not exist in a vacuum. There is always linguistic contact between groups. The contact influences what loanwords are integrated into the lexicon and which certain words are chosen over others. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Changes in meaning and pronunciation. In some cases, the original meaning shifts considerably through unexpected logical leaps. The English word Viking became Japanese Vikingu Vikingu meaning buffet, because Imperial Viking was the first restaurant in Japan to offer buffet-style meals. Topic see also Cognate hybrid word Inkhorn term language contact lists of English words by country or language of origin Phono semantic matching semantic loan neologism topic Notes topic References Best, Karl Heinz, Kali, Emmerich eds. 2014, Entlenungen und Fremdwörter, Quantitative Aspecta. Ludenscheid, Ram Verlag. Betz, Werner Deutsch und Lateinisch, die Lenbildungen der Althochdeutschen Benediktineregel. Bonn, Bouvier. Betz, Werner Lenwarder und Lenprägungen im Vor und Frühdeutschen. In, Maurer, Friedrich, Stroh, Friedrich eds, Deutsche Wortgeschichte, 2nd ed. Berlin, Schmidt, Vol. 1, 127–147. Bloom, Dan What's that fa? French Loan Words in Vietnam Today, Taipei Times, 2 Cannon, Garland 1999, Problems in Studying Loans, Proceedings of the Annual Meeting of the Berkeley Linguistics Society 25, 326–336. Duckworth, David 1977, Zur Terminologischen und Systematischen Grundlage der Forschung auf dem Gebet der Englisch-Deutschen Interference, Kritisch Übersicht und Neuer Vorschlag. In, Kolb, Herbert, Laufer, Hartmut, eds. 1977, Sprachliche Interference, Festschrift für Werner Betz Zoom 65. Gebertstag. Tübingen, Niemeyer, p. 36 56. Neuss, Helmut, 1955, Lenbildungen und Lendutungen im Altinglischen. Berlin, Schmidt. Gerzega, Joachim, 2003, Borrowing as a Word Finding Process in Cognitive Historical Onomasiology, Onomasiology Online 4, 22 42. Gerzega, Joachim, 2004, We, Warum, Wozu? Heidelberg, Winter. Haugen, Ina, 1950, The Analysis of Linguistic Borrowing. Language 26, 210 231. Haugen, Ina, 1956, Review of Neuss 1955. Language 32, 761–766. Hitchings, Henry 2008, The Secret Life of Words, How English Became English, London, John Murray, ISBN 978-0-7195-6454-3. Kersley, Leo, Sinclair, Janet 1979, A Dictionary of Ballet Terms, Da Capo Press, ISBN 0-306-80094-2. Koch, Peter 2002, Lexical Typology from a Cognitive and Linguistic Point of View. 
In, Cruz, D. Allen et al., eds., Lexicology, an International on the Nature and Structure of Words and Vocabularies, Lexicology, ein Internationales Handbuch zur Natur und Struktur von Wörtern und Wortschätzen. Berlin, New York, Walter de Gruyter, 1142–1178. Oxar, Else The History of Contact Linguistics as a Discipline. In, Goebel, Hans et al., eds., Contactolinguistik, Contact Linguistics, Linguistique de Contact, ein internationales Handbuch zeitgenossischer Forschung, an international handbook of contemporary research, Manuel International des Recherches Contemporains. Berlin, New York, Walter de Gruyter, 1–12. Chenette, Howard 1956, Learn to Read Music, New York, Simon & Schuster, ISBN 978-0-671-21027-4. Stanforth, Anthony W. 2002, Effects of Language Contact on the Vocabulary, an Overview. In, Cruz, D. Allen et al., eds., 2002, Lexicology, ein internationales Handbuch zur Natur und Struktur von Wörtern und Wortschätzen, Lexicology, an international handbook on the nature and structure of words and vocabularies. Berlin, New York, Walter de Gruyter, p. 805–813. Weinreich, Uriel 1953, Languages in Contact, Findings and Problems. The Hague, Mouton. Zuckerman, Gilad 2003, Language Contact and Lexical Enrichment in Israeli Hebrew, Houndmills, Palgrave Macmillan, ISBN 978-1-4039-3869-5 External links World Loanword Database Wold.